A whole class mini lesson is short. It's mini. It's 10 to 15 minutes in most cases. The first factor that I would evaluate if your lessons are going long is the content itself. We often plan way too much information for a single mini lesson. The instructional focus should be mini too. But let's assume that your lesson plan is on a narrowly focused skill. It's still common we find ourselves 12, 13 minutes into the lesson and not nearly done with all we planned. This is when I look at how the interactive component was managed. At the beginning of a lesson, we instruct, we explain, we model a skill. But the second portion of that 10-15 minute lesson is when we want students to dabble with it, experience it a little bit during the lesson. This is that interactive component. But don't interpret this as share the pen time. In other words, don't offer, who would like to try the next one? Or who can come up and show us how? Rather than having students raise their hand and waiting to be called on, have all students participate in a turn and talk. There are several reasons that I love the turn and talk technique in a mini lesson, but time and engagement are two of the biggest. First, regarding time, when we call one student up to the board, for whatever reason, it seems to take them like four minutes to get up off the floor or out of their chair and move to the front of the room and get the cap off the marker. And the whole time I'm thinking, tick tock, tick tock, tick tock. Those are your 10 to 15 minutes you're losing. But equally important are all of the other kids. The ones you didn't call on, they just tuned out. They're not invested. They're not paying attention. They're not engaged during this interactive component. However, with a quick turn and talk, you could have all of your students participating from their seats and orally. You have to tell kids to expect turn and talks. In every mini lesson, you will teach and model and then ask kids to participate orally. It's called a turn and talk and they should be ready for it. Plan to explain to them what you mean by an efficient turn and talk. The first thing is I tell them it's like six to 10 seconds, like fast, it's quick, it's short. I want them to turn immediately to the person next to them, across from them, adjacent to them, and answer the question, give the example, do whatever it is I just asked about. This is not find a partner time, this is Fast, I say turn and talk, and boom, the whole class goes a buzz. Now, during this six to 10 seconds, as the teacher, don't stray from the front of the room. Stay right there, it's six to 10 seconds. So lean in, listen, look, eavesdrop a little, but then be ready to declare back to me. Those are the two code phrases, turn and talk and back to me. Again, explain what back to me means. That means stop talking, turn around, be ready to share out whatever you said or heard. At this point, then as the teacher, call on a couple kids to share out a little bit or simply identify some of the things you heard during your eavesdropping. But then go immediately into a second example, another question, and have kids go right into another turn and talk experience. It's imperative that students have a chance during the lesson to practice or experience a skill before we ask them to do it during independent reading time or independent writing time. So having an interactive component is huge, but you could accomplish three to four examples with all students participating orally in the amount of time one student participated in writing at the board. Using these two powerful code phrases, turn and talk and back to me, we can manage our time better during many lessons. We can up engagement and maintain control while we're teaching students additional literacy skills.